Hello, I'd like to introduce you to the 2014 Door County Industry of the Year. It is the Hackle Corporation, uh, represented today by Dave Ralston, CEO and President, and Steve Christofferson, VP of Manufacturing. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start off, tell us a little bit about Hatco. Well, Hatco began in 1950 in Milwaukee by the Hatch family. Uh, a gentleman named Gordon Hatch and his wife Lorraine Hatch designed and built the first booster water heater for dishwashers, for commercial dishwashers. And uh, the company grew from there. We went um, into toasting and food warming, and the food warming line has grown into lots of merchandising warmers. So those have become our building blocks for many different products over the years. Cool. In 1973, we moved our tank fab shop up here. At the time, we were doing all of our assembly in Milwaukee, so they were shipping the tanks down to Milwaukee to be assembled into the booster heaters. And as the years progressed from 1973, we moved all of the manufacturing up here. And when I came in 1994, all of the manufacturing was already up here. We do have one small manufacturing plant in China, and we opened that in 2008. And our primary goal there was to supply the Asian market out of that factory. We have a very limited number of production lines that we manufacture there, and it's typically the higher volume stuff that uh, goes into that Asian market. And um, we, we did not open that manufacturing plant to try to move jobs out of the U.S. We opened it simply to shorten the supply line to our Asian customers. Could you give us a little bit more detail about some of the products that, uh, you know, you've gone into since those early products? Most of our products are in a commercial kitchen, in a restaurant, and a lot of it is what they call the back of the house, which is behind the wall mm -hmm. in the kitchen, and you don't see that. Um, some of the stuff has crept toward the front of the house, which is where you'll typically see it sometimes. A great example um, is Quick Trip uh, convenience stores, which you see all over Wisconsin. When you walk into a Quick Trip, there are typically two large sandwich displays there, and those are both ours. So I'm hearing warming, I'm hearing water heating, and is there some cooking too? There is cooking now that we've purchased Ovention. We do have some smaller uh, countertop cooking appliances that have become part of our line over the years. Uh, but the, the biggest cooking appliance is the Sovention oven. And we are running Ovention as a separate company. It's manufactured here in Sturgeon Bay in our Hatco factory. But uh, to the outside world, it is a separate company. We do custom work for, for customers? <clears throat> we do what we call customerization, which is customizing our equipment, but not just for one. A, a true custom manufacturer will customize a single piece. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not our kind of business but we will um, change the size. If a chain wants to buy many pieces, we'll gladly customize equipment for them. We do uh, a lot of training with our customers. Matter of fact, we have six training schools every year that we bring guests in from around the world. And uh, we are really stressed with our old building to be able to accommodate that. Yeah. Is that the Hatco University I hear about? That is the Hatco University. Tell Correct. us about that. Hackle University is an opportunity for the Hackle sales team to spend time with our customers and train them on how to use our equipment, what the benefits of our equipment are, um, and go through the whole um, product lines, and particularly train dealers and reps and consultants on the uses of our equipment. And people come from just the U.S. or from other places too? No, we have guests um, from around the world that come to this uh, university because our equipment is used worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, not only do we produce the product in China for that region, but more of the product around the world is used from product that is shipped from this plant. A lot of people think that it's only dirty work going on in factories and actually there's no dirty work here. It's all very, very clean. We work real hard to create a pleasant atmosphere to work in. Uh, having a clean work environment, having an orderly work environment is very important. I think our team members enjoy working in that environment, and we work hard to keep that. Tell us about the employment at HATCO. We have about 320 people in Sturgeon Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, our jobs in Sturgeon Bay range from engineering through purchasing and into the shop. We have uh, a very skilled workforce. We have um, assemblers that are assembling our product, and then we have fabrication uh, that are making the products for, um, that go into our final products. Mm -hmm. We find skilled workers, uh, but we also rely on our in-house training. You have to have, in, in the Door County market, you have to be able to do both. Yep. Uh, but we find very good team members. We have a great uh, workforce here, a uh, great team uh, to, to make this factory run.
the recession uh, hurt our company just like most companies and um, we took a dip we did not lay off we've never had a layoff in our 65 year history and we're proud of that uh, David Hatch always said I want to retire at 55 and sell the company to the employees so in 2004 uh, he made that happen and he moved to Florida. He is now our chairman of the board, so he's still involved, but he doesn't have any ownership in the company anymore. But he sold the company to the employees using an ESOP, which is a qualified retirement plan, but it allows all employees to have beneficial ownership of shares of the company. And when they retire, they can sell those shares back to the company over a five-year period, and um, they enjoy whatever growth those shares have had over the years. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for all that you're doing in our community. This uh, recent investment and the employment that you provide is, is very impactful. And uh, we appreciate the quality of these jobs and the, you know, the, what you do in the community and for the community besides what you do as far as employment. So uh, you guys are major uh, preferred employers in our community and we, we sincerely appreciate all that you do and thank you for what you've done in the past and for what you're going to do in, in the future for us as well. So congratulations. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And we look forward to uh, seeing what Hackville will be up to next. Great. Thanks. We're proud to be here.